I personally hang out with quote unquote nerds all the time. I kid you not. I hang out with, you know, all sorts of people, but I do occasionally hang out with complete nerds. Nerds where you'd see me out with them and you're like, is he teaching I'm gonna meet girls? I'm like, no, they're just friends. And they're so nerdy, like, if you want a funny story, any Star Wars fans? That's it, all right. Sad, well, millennials, you don't even know. I grew up watching Star Wars. Um, so my friend, one of my friends, nerdiest guy I actually probably know. Huge Star Wars fan. The biggest fan to the point where he goes to the premieres dressed up as Yoda. <laughs> That's how bad it is. I, I'm not even joking. And uh, Rogue One came out. That was last year. And we were in DC. And he was like filming some of my videos. And he's like, fuck, we got to see Rogue One, man. We got to see it. It came out, um, I think, a Thursday night. And because there was boot camp, we couldn't see it. So Thursday night hits. We were in DC. As soon as like the first premiere starts, he's like, Airplane mode. Takes my phone, airplane mode too. He's like, you're not checking that phone. I don't want any fucking spoilers. I'm like, okay, bro. And I booked us tickets tomorrow at 9.30 for showing. Like, dude, we're out till like 3, 4, 3 a.m. or so. He's like, 9.30. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so no phones, no social media. Um, 9.30 shows. He wakes me up. I'm like, Ugh. And he's like dressed up as like an imperial trooper with his fucking cap and shit. <laughs> True story. My other friend, um, who, who they just met, I'm like, yeah, my friend, he's like uh, from New York. He's there too, and he's like, what the fuck is this? And he's like, we're going, I already got the Uber, we go there. And the whole movie, I've never seen someone more excited in my life. Like, I mean, if I was, it, it, he was more excited than sex with every girl alive right now. Like, so excited, he was like this on his chair, and the movie starts, he's clapping, um, this is Star Wars, so it's like families and kids and shit. He's like clapping, yelling, screaming, and the end approaches. And if you followed this movie, there's a, a quite epic scene with um, DV, um, Darth, Darth Vader, who shows up at the end, sorry for the spoilers. And as soon as fucking Darth Vader shows up, I kid you not, he screams high pitched, like, ah, like that, like so loud. And then, not just that, like if that wasn't enough, like me, like, like more scared of him than the of whatever's happening. He then proceeds to yell, fuck, 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 as loud as he can on repeat, kicking the chair in front, like, oh my God, fuck, 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 like kicking, and, and kids, mothers, I like covering their ears. <laughs> my other friend, like, I'm leaving, like, fuck this. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it was, it was quite traumatizing for everyone. Um, but that's one of my, my good friends, the, 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 that guy. Um, now, what that does, hanging out with, say, people are quote unquote weird, is it gives you permission. It's like an outer approach you can use to be perhaps a little bit more weird yourself. You know, if someone can go up to Star Wars and yell, fuck, 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 kick the chair and scream like a fucking girl, and you're like, gotta be cool, like you can, perhaps accept a little bit more weird quirks. And guess what, when you can accept and own that and you put that out there, just in terms, like let's just say your motivation is being more attractive. We think that being more attractive is being cool. No, everyone's trying to be cool. What about owning a quirk and putting that out there? You will be fucking amazed because no one does that. And that is actually the sign of true confidence. Every insecure person can put out a part of them where they try to act confident. Only confident people can put out parts where most people would feel insecure about it. So hang out with weirdos. And it's not even weirdos, hang out with people who embrace their uniqueness. Be one of the weirdos of the world. I'm so fucking weird, you can't, I mean, you probably know, but I'm so weird, so weird. Owen, so weird. Like, people will meet us for the first time, they're like, oh, I love your videos, and they see us in person, they're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, we do such weird shit, like, our conversations are weird. It's not even like normal dialogue conversations. Like, I don't know if you've seen Owen videos, it's monologue. So it's like him like Brrr, and I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Brrr, and then I start saying some stuff and it's Owen, so he's just like, not even listening really. And I'm like, ah, oh, like spewing some shit. Then it's like, let's go to cryo, where we freeze our bodies. People are like, what the fuck are they doing? Like literally freezing our bodies for two minutes. Like Star Wars, like Han Solo shit. Then we're like, let's go to the spa. And like, say you just met me, you're there, like we're going to the spa, it's like in this freezing water and hot, it's the weirdest shit. Like, we are weird, be weird.
this front of like being cool is fucking fake. You bought into a lie. The cool people are the weirdest people ever. Own your weirdness. And no matter what you're into, people will fucking love it.